Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to check out the Blackstar Insider software. So guys, what we have in front of us is the main page. When you open up the software, this is what you see. Now, some of the things are very very intuitive. As you can see, you have your effects right here. And right at this corner is the patches that are saved already into your amplifier. Now, these patches on the other hand is what you save or what you can download where can you download it you can actually download it from the online community now in the online community you have a lot of users most of the black star users as they create their own patches they just upload it online so that they can share around with people now as you see you have lots and lots of it and it's so easy to download for example Let's say I want to choose this Studio Clean patch which was created by a user and then just download. So save it. Once it's downloaded, nothing else. You have it right here. It comes in automatically into your patches. Save. You don't have to do anything else. That's how intuitive this is. Right now, I have connected a uh, TVP amplifier into this so you have the TVP function here too what is so good about it is everything here is controlled in real time what I'm doing is I'm playing with the TVP button on the amplifier I'm not doing anything on this everything is on the amplifier another thing that's really nice about this is that what you choose and everything that you do you can save it so Let's say you have set up a sound that you really really like and you want to be able to save it so that you can go back to it. Now, you have so many locations down here that you can choose from. So what you do is just press the save button. That's how simple it is. Press the save, you can change the name of the uh, patch, you can set your name in there, what genre of music. You have all the genres here and criteria or descriptions anything you want about it you can set it up and just save it it's up to you now another beauty is as you can see here you have a tuner the tuner is a chromatic tuner which is very sensitive and trust me it really really works also as I said you can play audio files you can play these as backing tracks that you want to save and it makes things just so much easier to be used, you know. You can just play it up and it starts. Everything is there. So, what is another thing that you can do with this? Now, let's say you have a particular effect. Not to say that you want to create a whole patch with everything. There is a particular effect, like example, your tape delay that you have set or let's just change it to an analog delay so now in this analog delay I have tuned it exactly to what I want like I can go to the feedbacks the levels the delay times okay and all this I want to save it as a effects pack that I want so what can I do right click and save delay so what do I name it? Let's just say delay one. Okay. And what you have is right here. Now you have just saved this delay. So it doesn't matter what you do. Let's say you go here. You can just double click and immediately you have that effect that you set. Another cool part about this software is that in your settings, you have this part which is the amplifier settings and as you can see I have the ID30 TVP connected this is my amp firmware now the overdrive noise gate now this is something that people tend to add in especially if they want to go into higher gains and they don't want that weird uh, noise white noise from the statics coming out 
the super wide stereo this is specifically for this amplifier to widen out the sound gives you a very nice stereo sound so if you want it to be sounding like a mono amp yes you still can do it now audio mode now this is specifically for recording and you don't need to have any other uh, audio interfaces or anything connected because this amplifier has an emulated out and this is where the emulated out is controlled what you can choose is between stereo emulated recording which emulates the sound of the cab and the tubes and everything or a mono mono means that it just comes in a mono channel and of course reamping reamping is basically if you want to get a clean sound out of this so that you want to be able to reamp it in your software and get your own sounds and everything in there so now this is also another similar to the noise gate but this is a noise reduction so this one as you saw was in the overdrive which is the high gain ones this is for the lower gain stuff like in the crunch and super crunch settings so if you want to do a noise reduction you can actually add it in overall it's a straightforward intuitive software so get yourself a black star amplifier and play around with this software trust me you'll enjoy it see ya